hello everyone you're welcome to my channel my name is Tonya white if you are new to my channel welcome and if you're an old subscriber thank you for being with me and if you've not subscribed please join this growing family in today's video I'll be making orange cookies orange cookies look beautiful and taste delicious join me in the kitchen thank you it's very cold here and I brought out my butter an hour or two before baking but I still noticed that my butter was hot so you can see that when I tried mixing it it resisted so I had to pause the video and um, ensure that the butter was a little warm so that I could mix it well but it was very difficult because it was just splashing all over Using a spatula, I scraped the side of the bowl to the center so that I can mix it again. If you are new to my channel, my name is Tonia. I make videos on cakes, food. I added them um, to egg yolks and orange juice and I mix all together. I'm adding the orange zest. I got it from one large orange. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell where you'll be notified of more interesting content. As I said earlier, I make delicious and tasty baked goods and food. My love for baking has come a long way. I remember when I was little, every Christmas would it was a tradition for me to um, bake and uh, make some chin chin. And I I I just did not have an idea or idea of a recipe, or but I just know that once there's flour, once there's sugar, the chin chin is ready. So I would just mix everything together, and the chin chin usually comes out nice but sometimes your jaw when you eat the chin chin your jaw would ache you for days but well, my brothers enjoyed it now i'm adding the flour into the butter mixture and i'm mixing all together yesterday was halloween i had some children knock at the door and I was like trick or treat and i offered them my delicious orange cookies and they enjoyed it they were just screaming at this point I'm adding the rest of the flour then adding the corn flour some, some people call it cornstarch adding the corn flour and the baking powder and sieving all together the reason why you have to do this so that the the baking powder and the cornstarch will distribute around the flour and also makes the flour more um, airy and um, light and it makes it, it results to a, a soft baked good. After sealing the flour inside the butter mixture. You mix all together at this point the dough will become um, a little um, tough to mix but you just have to use all the strength you have in you do you know that you did not have to go to the gym to get this six pack you can do it right in your kitchen just baking can give you the muscles you need and eating the right food can give you the six packs you need Now um, I'm rounding up the mixing, then I'll put it inside a baking sheet or parchment paper and refrigerate or chill for um, an hour plus, an hour to 30 minutes. 
so that the butter can can become firm so that when it enters into the oven it doesn't it doesn't just melt out and um, disfigure the shape of our lovely cookies so while my dough is chilling in the freezer I'm greasing my baking tray with butter and lining it with parchment paper now my dough is out of the freezer so I'm rolling into tiny little balls if you actually want all your balls to be in the same measurement you can use your scale to measure everything like you, you cut them out in chunks small chunks and put them on top of your scale and measure all then you roll so they all come out looking the same when you place your ball inside your baking tray make sure you put them two inches apart so that they don't join together when baking i've made lots of this mistake putting my 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 dough cookie doughs together and they come out all squashed up so i just don't want it to be in that kind of situation Lightly sprinkle some flour on your fork and press down to flatten. When you are done, bake until golden brown for like um, 10 minutes and with a metal spatula transfer to a rack to cool. Then serve with a cup of coffee or tea. We have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell where you'll be notified of more future and interesting content thank you